Hello everyone at home. My name is Great Man Ilara and you are welcome to a new episode of Wake Up Nigeria today as we are going to be talking about the event of the week. I'm doing this program against the advice of my doctor. I've been quite uh, on a very low side recently. So if my audio is not allowed, uh, we finish up before time. That means um, I don't have the strength of one. But do me a favor and uh, press the share button and share with your friends and family. Today, we are going to be talking about uh, the key player in uh, scene nationally today. Uh, David Ibi Yome, David Oyedebo, Daddy Freeze, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, and several other. I would have budge to talk about it. A lot of people have been chatting and be buzzing me and asking me that um, if I don't put my comment, that means I'm showing some kind of partiality, maybe because I'm, I'm a friend of Vries, the pastor now, whatever. And I said, no problem. We're going to talk about it. Unfortunately, the very first person who reached out to me reached out to me from UK before I even know something was going on. An elderly person, and uh, I'm using this medium to apologize to Lola. I was pretty ash on her. Very, very ash. And uh, I really appreciate the fact that we find a footing. But before we delve into proper today, into what we are here to discuss today, I want you to know that Africans have finally found a way of um, arresting the devil. They have been able to identify where the devil lives. They have garnered enough courage and confidence to punish the devil. They have the Satan beating up black and blue. Africans are a funny set of folks who, who in their imaginary world, they, they behave like lunatics. And if you try to point it out to them, they hate you for it. So we're going to be bringing up a video. I want us to roll a video today that um, will enable us to see the foolishness of religion and how much it has done so much damage to Africans. As we speak right now, the United Arab Emirates uh, sent their judge to mass. And other nations that has been to mass are also saying, okay, by February next year, we're gonna be in mass and start exploring the floor, the ground of the mass, and see if we have an habitable place for people to live in case we destroy this planet where we are. But the key play, player, or let me say the focal point of Nigeria folks is, or Africa generally, is religion, given to you by these white folks. And makes me wonder that, is there hope? Because it, lo it doesn't look like there's hope for us. Here is a video of uh, some set of African folks who they have seen devil, they know where Satan is, and they are bound to just mess up the life of Satan. We're going to play it in the GF, and I want you to have a feel of it and see how much religion has done to us before we delve into today's uh, program. Let's roll the tape down. Now, these people are not farmers. If they are doing this aggressively to till the ground and bring something tangible out of it, we will say, okay, we finally woke up and we can diversify our economy. These people are Christians who saw where devil is and decided to say, 
Let's finish this devil once and for all. Now, this is a devil that even your almighty God couldn't conquer. As in the devil, according to the story, the folklore, at the end for three to raise up a coup d'etat in heaven, where God is ready. And God was very feeble in conquering him and sent him to earth for you to conquer. What kind of a God is that? So you have seen the devil and you decided to just make mockery of him and mess up. That's African for you. That's African for you. All right, so let's delve into today's uh, program proper as we begin to talk about um, the event of the week and why we must uh, not be partial in our dealings of things. A certain man called David B. Yome said something about an on-air personality, which is a uh, daddy phrase. And with all sense of responsibility, would like to say that the phrase also played its own role and part in the, the revolution that is happening in the religious sphere of Nigeria. It, could, it might be an hypocrite. It might be untamed. It might be garrulous and quite lousy. But he, in his own part, activated something in the consciousness of people. And this was made possible because he already had uh, a platform and a base to hear his voice. I'm going to say there are people who are a lot smarter than Daddy Freeze in this nation. Way more smarter. As a matter of fact, 75% of the people listening to him are way smarter than him. But there is a difference between being smart and being courageous. You could be foolish in doing things, in good things, but uh, you could be timid in doing good things. So the problem of the world lies between the ignorant and the intelligent. And the world is turned into the situation whereby the ignorant are boldness to show off their ignorance. While the intelligent people are timid to tell the world what they believe. That is the case of Nigeria. We have so much people who are poisonous, who are lethargic and very, you know, who have crazy confidence. And either you have confidence on good things or bad things or ignorance or something, Nigerians just want people to follow. So I say in the absence of good food, even a king will opt to eat poison. That is the case of the availability of freeze. Now, this particular elderly person, this bald elderly human being here, who has his own enterprise running in River State, have a record of threatening people with uh, the arm of law, jailing people and all that. And all that shady stuff, we'll get to it some other day. Is the sponsor of the Five Fingers of God, another record-breaking auditorium, in a state where they are so oil-rich but very poor. You must you must go to Port Harcourt to know what I'm saying. He's the uh, CEO of Salvation Ministry. And early in 2019, he said something. He said they want to reach out to one, one million adult souls, which means something that can, come, can be easily converted to money. And during one of his rage, he said some things. And while he messed a lot of things up with the utterance of his mouth, Considering his age and what he said he professed, his profession, being a puppet robber, he should have tamed his tongue a little bit. But people can be, can make mistakes. 
I'm saying this on the platter of the fact that during the week also that they free stage a kind of um, image laundering program for Johnson Suleiman, where both of them were discussing about Kama and the rest of things. And Johnson Suleiman says something that sometimes it could be emotional, that it is human to be emotional, that he speaks some things out of, and that the freeze also immediately reckon that sometimes you also get emotional. And if both of them on that stage, we will play the video, can say they are emotional, they could go out of bound when they are emotional. Could agree to that. Why shouldn't people say this man is also emotional? When Fanny Kayode messed a whole lot of things up for himself, we also caught a slack for him saying he was emotional and he apologized. And this man said a lot. We're going to be playing the video and analyze it. We will follow it without sentiment. Without sentiment. Let's roll the tape. Anybody talk to anybody again? I'll, I'll, I'll play you too. He will not talk me, I'll talk. You can't insult my father when I'm alive. Insult my father when I'm alive. Come tell that he flees. Did I hear him talk about you again? If I don't finish him. Insulting me, I won't call. But insult to anybody. That bastard, tell him any time you hear him talk about you, that, who, do they know his father? That's right, that, that the priest has a father. Who is his father? That cast who is born by Somalia. On the few things that we have played so far, I'd like to say one thing. There is problem in the system of the church setting, especially in Nigeria. This spiritual fatherism is getting into the head of a lot of people. And uh, this is one part where they contradict the person they follow. Sarah, uh, sorry, Horus, I'm oh, sorry, Jesus. In the book of Matthew chapter 23, verse 9, Horus was saying something. Horus or Eru, I speak as if you are enlightened. Say something, he said, you must not call anyone on earth your father, your spiritual father there. Only God in heaven is your father. But we'll get to that part. When Horus was referring to this, according to Egyptology of Kemet, he was actually talking about uh, not referring to any other planet as home or as a sustainer, sorry, as a sustainer, except the sun, which is the solar power and the engine behind all that planet. You might not understand how we will get to that. That's why when you see the flyer that we're dealing with, we have a picture of Bishop Oedipo, Pastor Ebi Yome, Serapis, and then that of uh, Daddy Fris. I assume or presume that folks listening to this channel are few and also those who have understanding beyond the normal status quo. Just stay with me. Now, Horus in his teaching, never, never instructed anyone to call anybody father, either spiritual father, except the your biological father. And Ibiyomi went from going against the teaching of Horus or Jesus to saying, Freeze is a Somalia. Freeze is not in Somalia. He must have report, responded to him. Freeze is uh, as in Romania or something. Maybe he was making a mistake. Romania, Somalia, sound the same. I'm not a sentimental person. I'm going to show you another video done by this man on that same day. That shows that sometimes when we speak too much, we don't know what is in our mind. It's not what comes out of our mouth. He was trying to refer to Kama and he's just saying Nama, Nama. You must understand that. I will show you that video also. So he must have been referring to Romania, not Somalia. Or if I was referring to Somalia, that he frees us and said him. And he said his father, he would respond and all that. Now, this is a man this guy respects so much. It's only Nama. When we come online to speak against evil and we get emotional and we begin to attack individual or personality, people who follow these people, people who cherish them, they will come against us. It should be part of the things 
the folks who do things we do should watch it. As a matter of fact, they curse me, they send us a sin, they send threat, they send so many things. It is part, it is part of a down part of that particular field. And I don't think anybody should feel offended. You are insulting somebody's role model and you want them to keep quiet. However, we are getting to a spot where some of you will say, okay, what that the said was not insulting. Now, Horus says something. The day you stop condemning people, that day we condemn you totally. You might think you have matured out of it, but you are sown something which you can reap. You must also read that the phrase was responding to Oedipo when he was talking about women should be submissive. Oedipo is a, a, a special breed of narcissist. And he has this patriarchal tendency that is tending towards violation of the right of women. You must have seen this in the video where he was slapping a girl in front of this church, his church. The whole world was seeing a man who have the, that can you like positive reaction to slap a woman in public, have tendency of being a woman beater. A man who will, without thinking to I swear, slap a woman in public like that, have tendency of, of beating his wife. Unfortunately, these are the marriages that most of you consider as the perfect marriage. Look at the timidity of the woman beside her. I'm not a sentimental person, so I'm going to tell you, if you want to know how to reason, you must take two sides and view. So when your Yepo was talking about using the Bible to tame the women, to oppress them and all that, that if we came to the rescue of the women, the same women that he also will not think twice to mesmerize or mess up when he's so when he's in his own rage so it's a case of greater evil and lesser evil evil are evil there is no categorization and if you watch the personality of freeze he's always tilting towards the controversial aspect of life so if he sees that everybody is tilting towards this he will choose the other side just to create the opposition of everything even if that thing is wrong. Now, we're not saying Ojeku is right. Of course, the Bible is a slave book. The Bible is a book of oppression. The Bible and religion, all religion does, does not favor women. Unfortunately, women love religion a lot. Now, we read also that this man came out to say all this. And he said some things he shouldn't have said also. So people decided to make that the national issue. They suddenly forgot that the price of wealth is now high, that the price of uh, electricity is now high, that nothing is working in Nigeria. Typical Nigerians always live for the breaking news. Shame on you. Let's continue and hear what he has to say. Calling him Somalia or Romania, he said that. And he said he's going to deal with it. Did I hear you again? I'll, I'll deal with it. I don't want to talk about I put their life in front of my father. If that, who gave back to him? If he has a father, let him show us his father's future. Now, that's another goof he goofed. That the freeze has shown him his father's picture. I know he's got a father and he's got a mother too. I think I've, I, I've even met his younger sister before. In those days, I've met his younger sister before. It is only ignorance, promotion of self-ignorance that will make you discriminate people according to the color of their skin. And it's easy to, to tell you that this man is tribalistic. If he has a chance, he has some superiority mentality. Superiority mentality. Irrespective of the color of the skin of daddy freeze or whatever, it shouldn't be subject of matter if you really want to tackle what is it. We're not saying you are not in the right to want to defend who you call your father. And we don't know your position in that family. 
Your name is David Ebiyome. That one is David Ohedeko. You are not family. You have forgotten suddenly that you are someone's father too. How will your children be looking at you and be saying, okay, a river state man or a, a, yeah, a Podakot man is saying a man from Ilaorogun is his father? If not for familiarity and carry me, shame on you, sir. But that's not the subject. He's got a father, he has shown his father, his mother. However, someone like me would rather keep my family out of the internet for reasons like this. People will still come against you even if they don't know nothing about you. That the freeze was quick to show his parents and all of this. Now he's proving to who that is not a bastard. Who exactly? To this man or to us that is not a bastard? Now on the part of freeze. Who is he proving to? Now, Nigerians, I want you to think. The people you follow. If you have been accused of being a fraudster or stealing, please do everything to show you are counterbalance. But when they tell you are, you, are, you are a bastard and you begin to dig up pictures of yourself, who are you proving things to? To us? The thing is that a woman is the only one who knows who the real father of a child is. So in Yoruba tradition, when we want to consult and all that, we ask for the name of the mother, not the name of the father. Because you can be brought up by a man who is not your father, but there's no way this woman will not know you are a child. So the proving continues. And this man was wrong in that aspect. Let's continue. Well, they came back to the ship. Does it look like a Nigerian? That's a Somalian. If I hear him, son, father, my father. So anybody will not talk about I can't be alive, you son, my father. Come here. Now, the problem of most of these men is that the people in their church, they are minions. Kilo father, what? They are clapping his forward. Exactly. Now, I take my time to do this critical analysis so that we will know next time when issue comes, we will know that defending a bastard or his son is not the highest problem of Nigeria now. If that is a bastard, bastard can do beautiful things in the world. Most of the spectacular folks in the world are bastards. So I wouldn't stoop so low to go and be claiming I'm not a bastard and all that. And I'm going to tell you a story briefly in your Bible. This man does not know the story. There's a certain man called Jesse. He got a wife and a concubine. The name of the concubine is called Nitzavet. Nitzavet is not a legally married woman. Nitzavet is the mother of David. And so because of the shame and because of the illegality of David, David was kept out of the camp and was given the shepherd's uh, duty. That was how it was even hard for Jesse to remember that he's got a son who is his last, still in the wilderness, when Samuel came to anoint a king. David, the son of Nitzavet, the bastard of Jesse, was later being celebrated as king. And if you are a Christian, you must have read a lot of things about him. And sometimes you say you want the mercy of David or the key of David. So being a bastard is not something. Your pastor does not know the name of the mother of David. I bet most of them don't even know the name of the mother of uh, Abraham. The mother of Abraham is Amat Laha. And Abraham is not a Jew. Abraham came from the Babylonian era. Abraham is a father figure or the key figure of the Bra those who worship Brahmas, the Hindu people. There's a lot you do not know. There's a lot those who follow who you follow also do not know. 
So being a bastard should not be a subject of matter. I see a lot of you wanting to train because of that. Or in your pay, mm. no, your soul, your head is not correct. In two concerning, we go on and hear what is my is saying. Now you can see from the way I'm doing my analysis, I'm not biased. I'm not for be your mate. I'm not for that difference. So we go on and hear this. I, I, call today was born. <laughs> it's not my own father when I'm alive. I can't take it. Well, anybody may not talk, but you, I can't be alive. You sold my father. I will, I will tear you. I will, I will tear you to pieces. I'll be alive. You sold my father. They say, hey, I will tear you to pieces, you bastard. You want fathers, don't insult fathers. It's insulting because he has no father. You can never insult a father if you have a father. He has no father. Tell him, oh. Tell him. This is the last thing he talks about the video boy again. It's a bastard. It's a bastard. Does he have actually? Someone made a very, very point here. Baba Lola is saying, Oyedepo is your father, so you are a bastard. Thank you. For you, it will be your mate to have the, the deny your own biological father and begin to claim another person's father. You have shown us that you are a bastard. Whoever disclaimed their own father and claim another's father has shown us that they are bastard. So under any circumstances, a moral justification, he does not have the right to address another bastard. And the people there saying amen, say, cause the day you are born. Nobody had the right to cause the day anyone was born. As a matter of fact, you do not even have the right to cause the day you were born. You have no power over your birth. And you have no power over your death. So when pastors open their mouth and begin to use cause, 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 as if they are the one who owns the monopoly of causing, it makes me look like they are daft. It's so pathetic. Let's go on and hear more he has to say. Father, who is his father? Let him show his father's picture. If he has a father. He has shown it. Man who cannot marry. He has no wife. He can't manage his home, he's coming to talk on television. Who is it not the wife who left him? Now that is dirty. That is throwing the job below the punchline or the below the belt line. I've heard people say a lot of things to me. They will call me, tell me Genesis of my life. Tell me you failed in Islam, you failed in Christianity, you failed in marriage, you failed in career, you failed. In... People will keep record of, the, of your life except theirs. But if you put yourself in public place, you must expect all of these things. I think you must. Because you are the one who say you want to do the work of the society or the public work. And the public work attracts most of these things. It is not a sin or a deficiency or inability to divorce. People love, people fall out of it. A woman could leave, a man would leave. And the man you're talking about uh, is also living with another woman who's got children for him. He does step children or biological children. And I don't see if their parents approve of their union. I don't see your business to say he doesn't have a marriage that is valid. And aside that, a lot of people who you call your friends also have missed, have missed it in marriage. We have Joshua Igenla, we have Chris Okotie, we have Chris Oyakilome, we have most of them. Whose marriages are not working? Some of them divorced even up to four times. So when pastors, of course, you must know these people who are not even called by anything or anyone. So what they, they basically do is to look for what is, it's a, it's a pitiable situation. And people are there listening to him. Huh? 
a man who has who, who, a broadcaster. He doesn't have a good job. Go and be insulting my own father. People are laughing. Say, talk, talk. Anybody saw my father again, I will just. Anybody may not talk with me, I will talk. I will never be alive to see somebody assault my father. You are not born. You are not, you are not born. I will kill you. I will tear you to pieces. I will. Me, I will, I will arrest him. Next one, I will charge him. I will see which money he has. Excuse me, please. He says something. I will kill him. I will tear him to pieces. And I heard a lot of you pick up that sentiment and started running with it. I like Bushini. You are the greatest undoing of Freeze himself. And I heard Freeze when he was. Uh, this is the only time I heard free speak in public with so much decorum. And that's because everything he was saying, he wrote it down. So it was written word for word. He needed to address the man like writing an essay to why a officer. Um, let's be honest with Tasha. I will kill him. I will tear him into pieces. Do you think that word holds water in the context of what the man is saying, is speaking? Do you think I will kill him, I will tear him into pieces? Are this not the, are we not Nigerians anymore? Is this not what we use? Is, are these not street words? Are these not the things we say to us every day? Even you say Motikuo or I'm dead, you. You might have your case against Ibi Yome, but playing the sentimental card and say, if anything happens to me, old pastor Ibi Yome responsible and all that is just a, a is just a crocodile tears. Now the man, we know the way it would it will it will it will lay people with law, with uh, law enforcement agency. But saying killing, those who want to kill you, will they say it outside? So a lot of you build so much. Uh, and he said, kill, 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 kill. want to kill daddy freeze, you want to kill daddy freeze. I know the way these people run. Those who want to kill you will not say a word of that. And when they want to kill you, they won't tell you. So he told you no water for that's not a threat. That, that's a word. That's 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 making a sentence. Rubbish sentence he was making, but that doesn't hold water. So come off with your sentiment. Come off it. The man is only defending who he believes. For either who happens to be his God. So if I tell you your God is a bastard, won't you react? Eh? So you tell other people their God is a bastard. Imagine, I have a mother. You try to insult my mother. You think I'm going to fool my aunt. So this man, in reality, has disowned his biology father, adopted Oedipo as his father, and you are speaking against his father. You think he's going to fold his hand. He's going to come past you. It's not possible. And what kind of a society are we building when we don't want people to respond to our, to our social ranting, social submission? The way that the priest got right to talk is the way this man got right to talk. Unfortunately, two of them are stupid people. They are foolish people. They are the ones undoing Nigerians. Either in form of information, free the sheep, or in form of come and bring your money. Two of them are, they are still nonsense people. So it's like choosing between Atiku, Abubakar, and Buhari. Did anybody tell you don't deserve someone who is not corrupt? Nigerians will always choose between greater evil and lesser evil. That's the problem. We're going to stop it on that and see a, one of the things that uh, Daddy Freeze himself is, um, is uh, guilty of. Because people are quick to say, okay, he didn't abuse the people, he didn't do this and that. What about the things he has said before? about what he has done before 
are we saying that the fruit is holy? Are we saying it doesn't deserve to also be criticized? Do you know how many of you who will come to Great One Ahilara's platform say so much rubbish here, threaten me, say a lot of things, and I won't even block you, I will. And when you get to that, the free uh, YouTube or whatever platform, you are saying, I don't know if I can talk. Oh, you know how many times? I don't know if I can talk. I don't want to be blocked. Oh. Now you follow a man you dread so much. Do you know how many times that the free has called people's father a goat? Do you know how many times that the freeze has said to people that they should have been used as a menstruation flow instead of being born? Are you now denying this fact? When he was saying that and treating people that way, why didn't you say we no go green and begin to shout everywhere? Okay, here is daddy freeze. Somebody dug up this. This is your daddy freezer. Somebody called him a bastard. He's crying wolf. Hear what he has to say. Anybody that tells that Jesus was not poor and Jesus was rich is a bastard. And he has used his left hand to describe his father's house. So he's what? A legal bastard. Your pastor is in the same financial place as your house girl. Write it down. Hey, what are you talking about? Let me shriek like he shrieks. I'm talking about the bald top. What are you talking about? When this church made only 300 naira, what they did? That is. Now, that's, that's that the phrase here. Go ahead. Now, when Oedipo was giving his message, he made his submission. He said, Jesus was not poor. Maybe he was talking from the aspect of the fact that he's got uh, disciples that he was catering for, to the point of even having a treasurer. So, if you don't have more than enough, you won't appoint a treasurer. And when they wrote drunk donkey, they always misinterpret it and say that. So, that the priest said, okay, whoever, referring to Edebo, says that Jesus was not poor. He's a bastard. So, he called the Edebo bastard there. And the host of others who are preaching that same gospel as Edebo. And he also referred to Oedipo as a screeching, bald-headed fowl. Screeching, bald-headed fowl. We know Oedipo screech a lot. He has this high octave that he speaks when Tobati Wobot. We know how we do these things. Why are we being hypocritical? You've heard me many times, until a man of God, so-called man of God, make a provocative statement to address all of us together. I will not intentionally just come out of nowhere and reply him with such manner. I've replied several of them with such manner in recent time. But I'm not going to sit down and just stay in here. Remember that Oedipo has children and people who also hold him in ISD. So when you call the Aro model screech, uh, screeching, Bard headed fowl and uh, vulture, you call him bastard. Do you expect them to fold their arms? They are not. This thing we do comes with its own negative impact, and there is always a return. So, when you serve the poison you are not willing to eat or take, you are an hypocrite. When you serve what you don't constantly want to take, you are an hypocrite. So, Daddy Freeze has served so many people this poison. It is his time to take a little portion of it. Why is he crying wolf? So, why are you a full human being who is, who should be holding Buhari responsible for your well being? Use your life in defending either you be your mate or that he frees. And some of you have started fighting each other because of that he frees. There's a problem in Nigeria. And this problem is divided between three P's. Three P's. The politicians, 
the pastors and the people. Three Ps. Politicians, pastor, and the people. Because sometimes when politicians try to even do good, people will say no. For example, the case of Kama, politician says no. People should have power over pastors. People say no, give the power to pastors. When pastors serve into your hands and rape your children, and politicians want to help you, you say no. Leave it for God to judge. So we must be able to balance things. It requires a, an average level of intelligence that is different from that of an animal to be able to look between or see between the line. Nobody is receiving what he did not give. Nobody is reaping what he did not sow. If you say that the fruit is human, and you say Ibi Yome is a pastor, have you forgotten every time this that the fruit want to speak? He will say, I am this, this, this I am the convener of uh, free, free nation in Christ and others. He has also poised himself in a position of a spiritual leader. So whatever is expected of him, the same measure you measure his morality is the same measure you should measure the morality of Ibi Yome. Either you like it or not, they both serve Jesus. However, this is where I'm going to tell you that there's no way you are going to follow Jesus and not behave like a rogue. No way. Just like there's no way you are going to follow God of the Bible and not be a criminal. Last week I said, God said, do not tempt me. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 16. He said, don't tempt me. That was when people needed to get something from God. When it was God's turn to get things, uh, when it was God's turn to provide for people, he said, don't tempt me. He just took them out of Egypt. They needed food. But when you go to Malachi chapter 3, verse 10, he said, tempt me, therefore, if I will not open the windows of heaven. Now, that's the time for God to get from you. So there's no way you follow that, that kind of God with so much temperament, he kills little children. As a matter of fact, in the book of uh, second, um, this second Samuel chapter 12, verse 11 to 12, this God made bold statement. He said, I'm going to allow your neighbors to rape your children, to rape your wives before you. And I will make sure your children are killed here in front of you. This is God that you serve. And you want these men to not kill other people. They serve the God that kills. Point a kill kind of God. We only give mentality of kill, kill, kill to people that follows it. So when government make law, they say kill government. When people sin, they say kill people. Every time, kill, 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 kill. And you wonder where the God is from. For God. That's where they follow. That's what they're going to do. when you even check the life of Jesus himself, he was never a saint. Jesus, they follow, is never a saint. At the point this Jesus entered, where people are doing their buying and selling, because the temple has become obsolete. Now, he was not going to make sure that temple become relevant. He didn't leave it for those who already knew that temple has become obsolete. He went like a rogue, he messed everything up for them. Threw their table, turned it away. Now, how do you expect a Christian who follows Jesus to, to behave at the moment of his anger if he will not behave like Jesus? Somebody is saying, those are not God's words. I must say, but the colonial book primarily for Martin relating the Godly book. Well, if you can tell me what God's word is, we can start another kind of debate. Because as far as I'm concerned, if you're a Christian, you take the Bible as the word of God. And that's why we stay in it. Now there's a man here, Roma Lawal, 
said Ahilara, there, there are moral arrogant and intellectual arrogant. However, you are full of both in your videos. Most people saw you first time through the Daddy Freeze platform, but it's now your ego. Now, I'm expecting such a man like Roma to say things. These are the people who have lost their sense of uh, justification and they are perpetually being attached to another refined hero worship. Hero worship. There are people who saw me first on BBC, Roma, and they did not kill me. There are people who read about me first on Naira Land, Linda Ikeji. They did not come and kill me. It is you people that saw me first on Daddy Freeze. That think because it's Daddy Freeze, I have no say. I'm going to say this with all due respect. Holding you, Kwesa. Your brain is not functioning like someone who is objective. Please be objective. It's not a boo, it's not an insult. It's for you to say, let your head be objective. Be objective. If I'd gone to BBC or CNN, and CNN did something wrong tomorrow, and I decided to criticize, would you say because you saw me first on CNN, I should not say something wrong, uh, something that CNN did that is wrong? You are sick. Roma, you are one of the sick people I don't like to engage because I've been trying to correct this notion. I've met that freeze twice before. I know that he freeze very well, more than most of you. As a matter of fact, most people talking here, they live in the diaspora. You have not met the guy one-on-one -on -one before. I know why I left. I know why I ran for my life. Both that he freeze and the DSA, I know why. We don't think alike. We could at a point in time come together to talk about things. But that doesn't mean tomorrow we can that the freeze has turned a video against me before. Him and Suleiman. I didn't feel bad about it. I didn't feel bad about it. Thank you. Somebody saying that the freeze saw you where? Naira land. Somebody was people that were there the first time I went to that the free school FM. He was saying that he has been reading about me. He also saw me first from somewhere. Linda Ike did not kill me because he posted me. Nara Lan did not kill me because there are so many awesome blogs that carried my story. Up to today, they are still carrying it. There are radio stations in Germany, Washington, DC. They didn't say because they saw me first so that I can keep quiet when they do something wrong. I pay you like hero worship. Something is wrong with many people. And this is what we are trying to correct Nigerians. Nigerians, we need to correct this notion that the fact that someone you work with get with someone, if the person do evil, does not mean you cannot call the person out. Let us blow each other's hands. It is called accountability. I cannot be. Let's move on. Now, Jesus was talking. He called people brood of viper, brood of vipers. He called them good for nothing generation. Check the book of Matthew chapter 12, verse 12, 34. Mark chapter 16, verse 15 to 16. Matthew chapter 23, verse 33. Matthew 23, 16. Jesus called people several names, unprintable names. People who are older than him. How do you follow Jesus? Who is rude? Who is radical? Who does not send anybody when he's talking and say that you will not be at the point in your life also root? And there are a set of folks who want to bring culture into this. There is something that does not know color, culture, tradition, race, or continent. And that is the truth. When it is the truth, it is neutral. Oh, my bounce, they're loading any out. It now depends on how the person you are talking to carry themselves. It will require a response from. Because we must also understand what is called evolution of action. However, people want the best from those who follow Jesus and God. Not knowing that this God and Jesus are both fallible also. Not knowing that the book called the Bible and also Korean are books 
they are weapons of mass destruction that has destroyed more lives than you can ever be. Except you choose not to read between the lines. There is no way you can follow the Bible of Korean and not be a rogue, a criminal, a, a murderer, a liar. Because these books promote all of these vices. Please share this with your friends. Maybe it will save them. We have 100%, for example, people in Nigeria. 95% of people in our prisons nationwide either bear the name Muhammad or Peter. Is it the remaining 5% of us who are not going to church or monks that is messing Nigeria up? Are you not people in the Senate? Are you not the one in House of Rep? Are you not the one in, are you, is it, if you are about, is, is either you are bowing to Allah or you are following Jesus? But you are like a bad apple amongst the rest of us. You are messing the life of everybody up. You will call Jesus, you will call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and your life is still backward. You are exactly what you are worshiping. Since they have given you Jesus in Africa, have you not been using it to threaten ever having Diko Komorani? This one will say in the name of the God of my father, he did run mad. That one will say in the name of my father, he did run mad. So you are now trying to choose between greater evil and lesser evil. You want to choose between Ibi Yobe or Daddy Freeze. You are also evil person. Evil, evil. That's who you are. Because these two people are letting you know where about destruction. I'm not a fan of Shore, but the guy said, let us come out out on October 1st. You will not come out. Lord, you are many. Le poti won e so kokan. Lord, you are many. Ni noti won e so kokan. I posted a list of people who are in charge of electricity in this nation. Folks like Kofet Otenola is there. Tony Elumelu is there. General Abdul Salam, the former head of state was is there most of these people are the ones who are controlling them oppressing you you will not go and meet them is that the freeze is jesus is god is allah you'll be talking since you have been serving jesus and allah in this nation has your life been better than that of an average chinese man because we are getting there where you will come on the street of Nigeria one day and say, I believe in God, and people will say, show me a proof, because your life is even worse. There's a point you will get you in a dispensation. And the age of the Pisces is going. The age of the Aquarius is coming. Where you will stand and say, I believe in Jesus, and think they will sentence you to psychiatric hospital. Because in those days, Jesus will not be relevant. Common sense will be what is relevant. People will not gather around folks who say, let us open a book to the book to the, uh, the Bible to the book of. They will gather around those who will point them into themselves and say, You are your own undoing. The extent of evil you can do is what is called devil. The extent of good you can do is what we call good. So if your whole life is focused on my Lord Jesus, all of those things. You are a failure. Yeah, you can have money because you are a liar. You are lying to people, but you are a failure. You will be forgotten forever. How best to make money in Nigeria? Sell eternity to people. If you are good in selling eternity to people, you can make money in the GV. Ah, only, only, only one million in a day. Just be selling eternity to them. And this is what we say. Let us emancipate African people from this Greek, Judeo, and Roman kind of mentality that constantly subjugate them and betray them from within themselves. These men say existing opium is better to make their own money and cash out than to bring another thing. They know the truth, but they will not tell you. And between the lies, you begin to choose which one is the greater evil, which one is the lesser evil. And look at your life today. They rape your women, they rape your daughters, they ransack your parents, your fathers, they make so much money at your expense. I know a lot of people that when they need money today, they will call my phone directly and say, grand, 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 great man, I need this. 
But how many of you can call this your daddy free straight away and say, I need money? How many of you can reach out to a be your mate today that you are defending and say, sir, I need some cash? And these are the people you are dying for. These are the people you want to be yourself for. Look at you. Look at you. So before you begin to defend freeze, he fed that up. Also take a look at what he has done. Take a look at it. And even I, either I like it or not, every single thing I'm sowing today will catch up on me. And now it depends on if I'm going to take it because this is something I'm serving. Will I be able to eat it when the time comes? So before you defend the Fed Ayo, this is one of his escapades. He couldn't afford somebody to insult him. So somebody was making an argument the other time. I said, he had got a certain man arrested and made sure the guy lost his job. And I said, what did the guy do? The guy was commenting something sexual about his son. And I said, the guy need to be arrested. I said, if I'm in the position of daddy freeze, not only my own son, any underage that is being sexualized by another person who is a pedophile like that, I make sure they go to prison forever. So we are not saying that the phrase is totally bad on some moral aspect. But we are saying it's not helping you. How can a man know that Jesus is a fable, is fake, and keep telling you between Yeshua and Jesus? Give me your What's the difference? What's the difference? So a man knows that S-O-N is not S-O-N, not the son. S-O-N is actually S-U-N, but he refused because he's, he felt you were going to be, you are too scared to hear the truth. Is he helping you? They keep repeating the lies of Constantinople, seeing a vision of a cross, they keep saying a lot of things. So we say, come, can we take it back to the time when Alexander the Greek invaded Africa? And when he died, he left the Ptolemies behind. And that's why you are seeing the image of Serapis today. Because those of you who think you are worshiping Jesus, what you are worshiping today, I'm going to tell you. When Alexander the Greek was doing his conquest to want to take over the world, he came to Africa, the Kemet aspect of Africa, which is now known as Greek, as Egypt in Greek world. When Alexander the Greek came, he saw an order, social order, spiritual order, monarch order, and forces all. Greek we get to, and he didn't want to tamper with the law and all that because they were so mal marvelous and so spectacular. He couldn't imagine something greater than that. And he saw that the focal point of these people is their religious belief. What? They discover before anybody that the sun is the highest of all the planet. And they were referring to it as planet. They referred to it as heavens otherwise as firmament so when you think of heaven you think of a place where you go to where you die when an ancestor here in africa thought of heaven they talked about it in terms of astrological science and they realized that all other heavens which are the planet revolves around the sun so they call the sun the most high today you call god the most high. They call the sun the most high of all the heavens. So when they want to reach out to this sun, they will say, the father of all heavens. Hallow is your name. Hallow means to glow, to shine like the sun. Hallow is another ancient word for solar system. The father of heavens, which is the sun. Hallow is your name. Is your Bible not written in the book of Psalm that the Lord your God is sun? So they change it for you and 
stay our father in heaven hallow be thy name it is not that kind of hallow it is h-a-l-o hallow the usual one you see on the head of jesus so let's break the table today and set africans free and so these folks who are called the ancient africans knew about the concept of seasons and time they know according to the shifting shadow of the sun there are four seasons in a year so when you demarcate when you divide the sun like a pie what you'll be getting is a cross each representing three three months of each year and they came up with the concept of the zodiac sign, like sign first the 12 zodiac signs is how they govern themselves. So when they wanted to give you Jesus, they ensure that Jesus started his ministry at the age of 30. You must have heard this before. So this particular sun, the constellation sign, the sun enters all the zodiac sign at exactly 30, 30 degrees. Exactly 30, 30 degrees. Signifying the age where they say Jesus started this ministry when you check the lord's supper you see 12 people on the table but you see four legs beneath when you have 12 people which is the 12th calendar month which request, which actually signify this so that when one of the disciples they say he died they have to replace him it has to be 12 it has to be the 12 disciples of Jesus. It has to be the 12 tribes of Israel because the number 12 is indigenous here in Africa, representing the, the constellations. How come 12 head form four legs? Read between the line, people. You are Africans. You are smarter than this. All of these, the Greek people learned it from Africa. And the highest things they reach out to is the solar system. They believe the solar system is the source of life. What do you understand by photosynthesis? If there is no photosynthesis, there will not be life. You will not be alive. Microorganism will not, will not survive. Plant will not survive. Nothing survives without the sun. So they call it the source of life, the giver of life. And because the sun cannot be destroyed, they call it life eternal. These are the attributes you give to Jesus or your God. But these are the things the your Asian folks in Africa here, who are called the people of Kemet, were worshipping. Alexander the Greek could not tamper with this. It was too much for his knowledge. He could not touch it. So they tell you that Jesus walked on water. But in actual fact, they are telling you about when the sun rise of every money over the water. So they were worshipping this particular figurine, a bull that have this plate of the sun between his arm. When they saw it, when the Greeks saw it, when Alexander saw it, he wanted to be inducted into it. I know about Ifa very well. So white folks will call me from all across the globe and say they want me to induct them into the institution of Ifa. I will say no, but I know some of my friends who does that. We are selling our birthright. When they come and say, okay, in doctors, I say no. They will give some people money, they will induct them. That was exactly what is happening. Alexander the Greek wanted to be inducted into the spiritual order of these Asian folks. And they said no. And they kept at it. Because it is not in their tradition to induct those who are not original habitat of Kemet land into it. So when he went back to Greek and he died, then uh, Ptolemy stayed back. Ptolemy told them, problem don't induct us but we cannot bow down to the bull make us a therapist make us this kind of god in our own image now look at the wisdom here make us this kind of god in our own image so when we come to the temple to worship 
The Africans will bow to the bull with the sun on his head. The Greek will bow to the image that looked like us. So they made the image. There was a sellout amongst them. They made the image that looks like the first Ptolemy, Ptolemy the first. And so they were amalgamated together. So the black comes from the back, worship the Abu Ai. The Greek come to worship Ptolemy's figure until gradually the figure of Ptolemy outshine that of the original image of Africa. The same picture of Ptolemy is what you worship as Jesus now. They will always give you a white man as Jesus. So when you, Tobadaku, Todaji, when you go unconscious and you say you see vision, no one has ever seen vision of Jesus that is black. You will never see a black Jesus in your vision. You will always see Ptolemy in your vision. And this is how Ptolemy gradually began a independent rule. And when he grew his first year, after the death of Alexander the Greek, he formed a parallel government, which in a way outweighed that of the existing government, and they became the pharaoh, the new set of pharaohs. So the Ptolemies went on and on and on, to the point of the Eucharistus. Now, who were the pharaohs? The Ptolemies are referred to as the Vikas of the Serapis, which means the, the priest of the Serapis, the priest of that image. The Vikas of the Serapis, which means the priest of the Serapis. They could tamper with anything, they could not tamper with the spiritual aspect. The Vikas of the Serapis are the very Pope you worship today. The Popes you worship today With their pharaoh like kind of cap, like crown, stem from this Ptolemy's story. I don't want to go into details with him. So, when they go to this temple to go and worship, what do they see? The concept of Trinity. They reckon with the fact that there's a Ra. They reckon with the fact that there is Osiris, and they reckon with the fact that there is Heru. That is the first concept of Trinity that ever existed. Ra, Osiris, and Heru, or Horus. Horus became your Jesus along the line. With the backing of the sun. Horus is the son of Ra. Osiris is the mother of Horus. There's a lot in each other. This is the thing that these people, both that the free so the the rest of them, are defending today. The watered and the absolute diluted spirituality that was given to you. So on Saturday, la wayi, on fun yini Friday, you know what you do. But how do you get to this point? By asking questions. Do you ask questions? Do you query things? To you, you don't. I wish I can go into details more and more today. But I'm quite strong. Like I said, when we started, I'm doing this against the advice of my doctor. I feel really tired and exhausted already. 
So whatever it is, you can make up your mind. You want to continue living a substantial life by not querying this particular Bible you follow, where they tell you that snake speaks in human language. As a matter of fact, how do you even worship a God that says you must not touch the, food, the, the, the tree of knowledge? Ah, that's a sabotage. That, okay, of all the trees here, do not touch the one that, that have knowledge. They know where you have knowledge. Knowledge comes with power. And how do you seek knowledge? When you begin to ask and reason between the line. You are still a Christian today because you cannot reason between the line. I'm telling you the truth. You are still a Muslim today because you are not asking questions. The only reason why the Roman government is prevailing over the mental space of an average African person is because they are not asking questions. The day you begin to ask questions, these people see you as threat. It is impossible now, or possible, in this level and age I am, to part away with my money for one man of God. I think that you will share I thought I could go into details of uh, Johnson Suleiman and the sin and against and all that. We'll do that next week. There's one pastor called Arome, Arome Os, 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 Sayo, something, Apostle. He lies a lot. I wish I can speak about that. But before we go today, I'd like us to talk about, to hear from this awesome man. It's one of the best brain in Africa. Unfortunately, it's also still religious, but we can still manage something from it. In conclusion for today. In conclusion for today. After this video, we will, I will attend to the comment section and we'll wrap it up. I just only hope that you are sharing with your friends and family. Hopefully we can go longer next week when I'm a lot stronger. How can we stop that? Or should we stop that? We should. But it is not going to be easy because when people invoke the name of God, the congregation is frozen and many people do not have the ability to interrogate this kind of situation. And you know, they, I love the Bible because the Bible... I'm going to take that again. So when people invoke the name of God, the congregation is frozen, which is what is wrong with us in Nigeria. As a matter of fact, I, I don't like people that call the name of God. Me, oh. The moment somebody say God said I should tell you I run. God sent me to you. Where did you see the God? Who is he? What color is he? How does he look like? I'm, too, I'm also looking for him now. I'm looking for Show me where he is. I'll go and meet him. If he has a message, he will tell me by himself. Wake up, Africans. Wake up, Nigeria. How can we stop that? Or should we stop that? We should. But it is not going to be easy because when people invoke the name of God, the congregation is frozen and many people do not have the ability to interrogate this kind of situation. And you know, they, I love the Bible because the Bible also speaks about such individuals. If you look at the book of the Acts of the Apostle, Paul says that in his days, there were the church people of a place called Berea. And the difference between the people of Berea and Thessalonica is that every evening when Paul had spoken to them, they would go and interrogate the Bible to determine whether Paul was speaking the truth. If the Christians were able to do that, they would be able to discover that some of these individuals are essentially cultic leaders who want to use their tithes for personal tithes. benefit. Ten percent, the ten percent of the money that they pay, the, the tithing that they, they are the ones who use the money. That is why they use the tithe. And, and we now have a new so phenomenon. You pay your I, I do pay my tithe. Every month. My church is an organized church, so that the money does not go to the bishop. The money goes into an institutionalized process, and the bishop or the pastors have a salary. But these husband and wife formations. Mm. where the husband is a pastor and the wife is a pastor and the son is the secretary and the daughter is the treasurer. These are essentially pyramid schemes which have been put together by individuals who have uh, uh, 
capitalized on, on what I call the Jesus industry. And this Jesus industry is being abused by the invocation of the name of Christ in a manner that is improper and to the detriment of the people of God and to the detriment of their countries. They deserve condemnation. And they are peddling lies and selling miracles. And during the election time, they threaten people. They use the word of God to threaten people for their temporal joy and glory. Mm. They are the latter-day Pharisees, if you ask me. You have them in Kenya as well? Oh, there is no shortage of them. They are popping out from every corner of the street with all manner of names, achievers, mm. determiners. They have no shortage of names. Helicopter, there is no shortage of them. Mm. They are popping up everywhere with mega churches, complete with jets and other things. They are rock stars. Should... <laughs> you can see it's everywhere in Africa. And the professor have a lot to say. Have a lot to say. So either you follow them in form of okay, organized religion, church people, or reformation and all that, you are still not free. However, we appreciate your support on this platform. And the studio I use, I use money to also subscribe to it. Many dollars per month. I need money. To run the program. And I'm saying if you have a token, one or two or so, you can put it in this account number that is on your screen. And uh, let's support the truth because if we starve lies, we won't have time to be growing in darkness or growing in darkness. Unfortunately, in Africa, we like to feed lies and starve the truth, yet we want to get to what we call the promised land. This is not going to be possible. If the way we have financed churches and our mothers finance, our fathers finance, all these people is the way we finance things like this, it will go a long way. Now, I uh, would like to also say something that um, while you were sleeping, somebody went to Big Brother Nigeria, have sex, had sex in open place, was untamed, badly behaved, and came out, and you Nigerians, you gathered money together. Yeah, any problem? Any problem, Marine? Within few seconds or few hours, you will raise over thousands of dollars for this person. Or going into Big Brother House to go and do what exactly? To call people names to have sex to to downgrade the essence of African culture and value we hold. Can you see that you, de you deserve the kind of government that you have? You know, Kosi Kosi, you still took money out, gave it to someone who can you recommend a lady as a role model for your children, for your daughter? Or you finance evil and you starve good and you want a better Nigeria? It's not going to be, it's not going to be possible. It won't be possible. So it makes me wonder sometimes if the war against religious crime will ever stop in Africa. Because the more we speak about it, the more you give. Well, not only your money, but your body and your time. To these shenanigans for Usu, these former Niners, these rogues, these criminals. And you tell us that, is he not my money? Is he your money? I'm expecting one of you to come and say, Buari is not good. Thunder will not fire you, Thunder will swallow you up in victory. It will swallow you up in victory. Come and tell me that politicians are not good. I want to tell what it, come and show me what the people are doing to have the ignorant justification of saying the politicians are not good. Thunder will swallow all of you up in victory because you deserve what you are getting from this nation. I went to go for me to check list of people in there. I saw children who I need on medical stuff, children who people want to go to school, people who have education. They are not even able to raise up to $10. Someone went to mess life up and you raise thousands of dollars. 
to ba pe se aye ni se omo nigeria e je lo we ori yin lokun and the bad egg among you just sacrifice them to water to go so that the able one that can think as still appreciate everyone for joining us today and uh like i said you can support this channel and well let's read comments uh let's read comment today trying to pick some comments um how are you saying the people who i will blame are the members of the church they are hailing him yes he's a bastard they forgot that fuel, uh, fuel price has increased and electricity too leave them maybe when they finish they are is it placebo or what is it how about the height on when they finish hiding themselves there they will come out of the church to reality meanwhile the man has cash out okay this person they say your dad is right say a lot of nigerian pastors are scammer all of them are scammers now all of them all of them all of them i'm not sorry to say today bakari samade yemi bojo yemade adi faras all of them ask now what do you call a person who is selling you false hope either he's selling it on a moral note or immoral note he's still a scammer Joy Okafor is saying, it has really shown that their God cannot fight for them as they made us believe. <laughs> uh, a God that needs somebody to keep somebody for him. Is that one God? <laughs> and you are not yet waking up. A God that needs to be your mate to threaten Kilon uh, Kurukwe, uh, uh, freeze. And a God that needed freeze. To help him to be backing himself up and be proving and be using scripture to dispute scripture. Is that one God? What other comment do we have? Joy Okafo is also saying, Who their cause have ever affected? Just take a look at the decadence in our country. They are so comfortable with that. These pastors are evil in the land. Somebody said, I prefer a broadcaster than a pastor. At least a broadcaster is earning legitimate income. You, pastor, that is just lying to people. Though you, two of you are just talking, you know, but one is talking what is really happening. The other is talking, imagine making money from what they said they wrote 2,000 years ago. You are... Uh, why to get compliant but you cannot evolve from 2000 years moses is saying nigerian pastor are wallowing in old testament ken is saying all these runs just show that he doesn't believe in god because he would have left god god know the god is powerless god god is powerless i hope you know God is powerless. If there is anything that needs to be done in this physical planet or this planet of ours, and mankind did not do it, it will remain undone. God cannot do anything about it. Let God charge your phone for you. Let God come and feed you. You will be driving car and say, God, take the wheel. Oh, my father, you long been on it. They eat them, but thought say they don't meet us face to face. As an old song in Nigeria, they will faint for two hours, release case set for one to three or sixteen. Later, after the cash out, they will now come back and say, Sorry, I was lying. Let the church forgive me. Am I not even gone? Kinzo is saying, I respect your views and analysis. When you first started, I wanted to tell you to shut up. But when I continue to listen, you are not biased. Thank God, thanks God, we we'll continue to increase you in wisdom. Kinzo, happy to have you here. We make sense here, sorry. We don't brag about it, but because we have nothing to lose. Nobody is feeding us. We are feeding people we can, so we, we can't shy away from. Um, I think I have answered Roma before, said uh, Mora. 
arrogant and intellectual arrogant. To ba gbon ko so po gbon gbon na. Oh because I know freeze before and he's doing something evil. We like keep it folks like you go to do politic politics of nepotism and sentiment. Somebody is saying hi, say, hope you are okay. Which side are you now? Because in the beginning of your blog, you are wonderful, but now I'm confused a bit. I'm praying for you. I'm on my own side, sir. Moses Solani, I'm on my own side. I'm not a Christian anymore, and I'll never be a Muslim again. I'm on my side. On the side of common sense. Frontal look, me to wake up, what did you share? I will never be fooled again. <laughs> All right, Emmanuel is saying, I'm picking something out of your words tonight. Thank you for joining us, Emmanuel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, for those who are saying that the freeze, they saw me on Daddy Freeze first. Okay, Daddy Freeze also saw me somewhere first. I did like you saw me somewhere first. At least before all of you saw me, maybe my mother saw me first. She's not here telling me that, uh, shut up, shut up. Even my own mother. She's a dick in so. Before anybody saw me. My mother has told me first. She's not telling me to shut up. Ever pa mini. Iba kula mpa e mpa wo. Enu enu. Let's have him pe kuro juwa na. Ba ni ke me ni yola le mamu. All right. So. Uh, Temi olu. Somebody is asking if I'm bleaching. Do I look different? Maybe because of the contrast of the studio and all that. I'm not bleaching. I will never bleach. I've been taking care of myself. I'm not bleaching. I'm pale. I look pale. Tell me, I look pale because I'm not feeling fine in my mortal body. Baba Lola is saying you are a blessing. Thank you. You are saying the truth, great man. Thank you. Um, and so on and so forth. Um, somebody is Sabu is saying, I really like your wisdom, which has no connection with any religion. You are being very real and honest with words, but religious by God won't see truth in your words. Yeah. We will continue saying it until they wake up. Say your words are deep and explosive. Thank you. Um, Samuel is saying, I discovered recently that it doesn't matter how you try to emancipate some folks. They won't they won't act in because their brain has been exchanged with some someone else. <laughs> Not if you want back arrow. However, we must keep saying it. Someone, we mustn't give up. That's our own fundamental human obligation. You are right. I've tried it in so many occasions to tell Fritz that both Jesus and Yeshua are not real. He will not listen because Jesus or Yeshua is the is the essence of his own relevance. Is the essence of his relevance. All right. So. Wow, amazing. You are with me. Thank you. All right, so I'm seeing if I can read one more. All right, so I'm highly exhausted at this point. Thank you very much for joining us today, and uh, we hope the platform can grow more. If you are joining us for the first time, just press the share button if you are on YouTube with us, and also subscribe, subscribe button rather, and your notification, press all. If you are on Facebook, at The Great Man Aguilar on Facebook, you can catch up on several of our daily posts, sensible folk, uh, posts. You can like it and also share with us. Well. And uh, somebody is asking for my Instagram page, and. Uh, my Instagram page, what is that Instagram page? It's scrolling beneath. Uh, at the Great Man Aguilera is my Instagram. At the Great Man Aguilera is my Instagram. And if you want to follow our foundation, uh, and do also at Crystal Love Foundation, Crystal Love Foundation. We don't just talk, we also help people. And uh, like I said, if you have uh, a little token to support this platform, put it on this particular account, which is showing. And if you want to help humanity, you have something to help either on a monthly basis and all that. I want to be in Paedia from alone We want to also start a very mega vocational center where we can equip all of our children who are coming out of secondary school before they get into uh university with some hand work because we realize that artisans are the are the future of nigeria we want something 
that is so substantial and standard. We bring you facilitators and also be giving scholarship to people. We want your support and help us so you can put something in that. And now, uh, arrest to continue settling bills of uh, medical bills for children, continues feeding people and all of that. We will never stop on that. And uh, we believe that we can create heaven for ourselves. We can also create hell for ourselves. We don't believe in, okay, God come and take control, therefore he's doing me and all that. Whatever we can do, nothing gets done. Whatever we can do, nothing gets done. Whatever we can do, nothing gets done. And you are also welcome to be a, uh, a seeker with us. Just go to Telegram, type 1 million seekers, 1 million seekers on Telegram, which will lead you straight to our Telegram uh, channel. Take care of yourself and um, don't work yourself to the point of breaking down just like me. I've been finding so difficult to bounce back in my health since the past two weeks, and um, I have overworked this body. I've overworked this body. Don't be like me, please. Take some rest. And I only wish I can take my own advice. Till next time I see you again, we hopefully can talk about Grand uh, Suleiman and his nonsense, many, many shades of nonsense and other folks. Huh? Wake up, Nigeria. Wake up your friends. If you are awake already, make it a point of duty to wake up. That's all. Take care of yourself now and um, have a nice week. Bye.